Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box and I have links to them, so check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the videos when they first come out, hit that notification bell. Okay, card day out of my bloopers. So I'm gonna let this dry. Um, when I decided, <laughs> I've already been painting. When I decided to stop working on this, um, I tossed it into my little, I have a, those drawers for papers. I put them in the one for cards because it wasn't quite going where I wanted it to. So I've got to finish it up. So I've just put a little Posca here. And I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go back over it with a little bit of black or maybe a blue to match this and see where it takes me. Then, the rest of them are done. So, I'm just finishing this one up. All right, get that a little dry. Let's see, we'll use some of that. I'm just going through and kind of messing this up a little bit. And you know what I want to do? <laughs> you know I want to do this. I am going to hit this with it. There's no other punch to the whole thing <laughs> except for this. And I'm just going to add a little bit. And I don't even want it to be a smooth thing. I'm just going to do like this in a few places. I mean, I'm, I cover most of it, but I just I want something to just... It's bumpy. It's all over, but it's a bumpy thing. Let me see if you can see it. I don't know if you, can you see? Yeah, right there. So, that's what I've done. That's going to add a little fun to it. And I'll tell you what, we're just going to let that dry and we'll come back. So, that one's done. The rest of mine are pretty done. So, let me show you what I'm working with. So all these that I'm going to do, so I can be on one pattern, is the number 10 envelope. And that's not the envelope, that's my card. Number 10 envelope. So there's the number 10 envelope. This is my card that I will cut to fit something like that. And this matches this right here. It's a little bit bigger. Quarter of an inch. A little bit there because this is my window that I'm going to look at my paintings to see where I want to cut the card out at. So there is this. You may recognize it from its little video. And so if I did a card like that, you know, I could do something on that order. I could do this. I could just do this and leave that, have that as the card, which short of doing that, yeah, I would probably do something like that. So that's going to be my card. So on that, let me mark it. Or do I want to do this? No, I like that. I know I could get two cards out of this, but the fact that it, there's nothing here, um, makes it look odd. On the other hand, that's some pretty stuff. So, you know what? I am. I'm just going to do two cards out of it. We'll just do that. 
Okay. So the measurements of this is, I believe, not that. No. Let me get your measurements. Okay. Nine and about three and a half to three and a quarter. So that's what this is. So we're going to go in here and we're going to mark it. So I'm going to do something like that. And if I did that, actually I could come over. This is where this little window helps so much. So we'll do something like that. Okay, there it is. And what we're going to do, I love my big cutter, is cut our cardstock. And this is it for cutting it. So a nine inch and then an eight inch. So we'll put that here. And what I do is I cut inside these lines. Now, I cut two. All I do is take that one, put it up against that. And I do have a card thing, but this is so much easier. Where you take it and score it. But anyway, there is my card. So that I do that on all of them. You see that? is going to be smaller than my envelope. Now on the envelope, this is what I ended up getting. 500. They're cheaper that way. But it's Amazon Basics. I've got a link to that down below. Check that out. But I'm thinking, why not buy a bunch if you're going to spend the money? Go ahead and go ahead and get them. All right, I gotta cut my card. So nothing to put on it. Now here's another thing. I did not draw all these lines straight with my paper. Now I'm seeing that I'm off a little bit. So there's one, and I'm going to do that to cut this line off, and we'll do a little bit over here. All right, there are our two cards. Now I'm going to show you on one of these how to put it together. After that, I will just show the cards and how we pick them out. Now I think I want that more even all the way around. I've got, it's taller here, so I'm going to cut some of that off. 
It's going to look even. Perfect. And there it is. Now, what I have is double-sided tape. And I just go and put it all along the back. Does anybody else how they're cold this year? I'm so aggravated. I don't like colds. Make me talk funny. Okay, here is that. I kind of wanted to do this. All right, and there is a card. Okay, so same procedure on procedure on everything else. And this is how I kind of look. This is an obvious. We just cut out the whole thing. Unless, no, it has to be that. So that will be that one. Now here, this is something I am getting excited about. I've been waiting to do this one. Remember that picture? I did three or four of them. I wanted to play with different ways to do it. So, how cool is that going to be? So, I think that's pretty awesome. So, what I'm going to do, because that's about the height I want, I'm going to mark this edge. Because remember, whoops, something on that order. My cutter... <laughs> I've got to be square with this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. That off. Kind of use this as my guide. And you'll figure out your little system, what you want to do. And I want to make sure I get most of the edge. I don't know, let's just do this in half. So if that is eight and a half, I need to do four and a quarter. Then I need to do some more. I need to do three, almost three and a quarter. There we go. That's one. That's the other one. See how cool? And all these are from your bloopers, but see how neat they look. Now this one... I never did do a video on. I may, because it's pretty interesting. I've kept it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So, what I need to do is get this down to an 8. And this top is down to a nine, so I have to cut quite a bit off of it. Because remember, I need an eight by nine. Nope, that's the card. This has to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to cut off. I don't want to cut off my blue. My pretty. There's that. Now this one has to be a little bit less than a nine, which is perfect. Look at that. I just cut a little bit of that off. And this one is right at an eight, so it does need to be an inkling shorter. Yeah, we're going 
have to get a little bit smaller. So I'm going to cut through here. I don't always have this down to an exact science because I keep playing. Okay, so this needs to be about three and three fourths. And there's a card. And this one, I think I'm going to cut this side. It needs to be three and three fourths. Very little dot. And there's a card. Now, let's do this guy. So, let me get some measurements. So, I'm going to do this. Which means this spot and this spot. And then we get. I think that showed up. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay, now from here, we can start measuring the three and three fourths. Measure the little bit less than nine. Mm, I'm going to cut some of this top off though. Now, a little bit less than nine. And that's going to be our card. Let's see, it fits on pretty good. And that's it. All right, so that's some of my bloopers that I have changed and made cards out of. And they make really cute cards. Just got to get your measurements down, figure out what you like, and there you go. So here are all the ones we very quickly did. That one took more because I did fun with stuff with it. And then there we go. There's our little cards. So I've got two of those, and there's that, and that. So very quickly, we made four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So how cool is that? All right, y'all go have fun.